All right, guys, so the news keeps pouring in at the U.S.-Mexico border. We have the migrant caravan arriving in droves in Tijuana, and the Mexican residents there are very, very upset about this, and they're not stuttering when they say they don't want these people in their country. You can see the mayor of Tijuana here, for example, wearing a Make Tijuana Great Again hat. Man, you can't make this shit up, I tell you. And... It's just like the United States. Look, it's not that everybody is racist and out to get the brown people. It's that we just don't want people coming into the country illegally and taking advantage of us. Okay? It's that simple. And yes, these refugees, quote unquote, these economic migrants in reality, they're not appreciative of what the Mexican authorities and the Mexican people are doing for them. You have a story here out of the Daily Caller. Migrant complains about free food she's been given by Mexico, calls it pig food. The Mexicans have enough hospitality to feed these people so they don't starve. And what are they doing? They're turning around, going to the mainstream media and saying, oh, this is terrible food, we don't want to eat it, but we can't starve, so we're being forced to eat really, really bad food that we don't like. I mean, you can't make this shit up, as I say again. Now, many in the mainstream media are baffled and befuddled at the Mexicans' reaction to the migrant caravan coming into their country and staying in Tijuana, and some even saying, Oh, Trump was right, calling this influx of migrants an invasion. Donald Trump tenía la razón. Es una invasión. Lo que dijo Donald Trump es verdad. Es una invasión. Esto es lo que es. Y vienen más disque caravanas. Y solamente son terroristas. Eso es lo que son. Abran los ojos, México. Yo exhorto a todos los estados mexicanos que se levanten. And many of the mainstream media. Uh, over and over again, you see this mantra, oh, Trump called this an invasion. It's not really an invasion. You keep using the word invasion. Invasion is, no no hicieron trámites But how legales. is that an, an invasion? Invasion is a army. It says right here in the dictionary, I mean, you can look it up yourself, just Google it. Uh, there are many definitions of invasion. One of them, yes, is an instance of, an inva of invading a country or region with an armed force. But also, there's other definitions that include a more broad scenario like an incursion by a large number of people or things into a place or sphere of activity, an unwelcomed intrusion into another's domain. So, mainstream media, I don't know what else to tell you buttheads, okay? It's, it, it's an invasion. Now, the mainstream media's response to this is two-pronged. First of all, they're trying to say that the Mexicans who want border security, they're trying to say that these people are being violent toward the influx of migrants coming from Central America. All these news stories painting these protesters uh, as violent and as even racist. Yo estuve cuando fueron a las playas que armaron el grupo de los de aquí mismo y los agarraron a pedradas. Ya yeah, piensan de diferente manera y inclusive hasta llegar a un punto de racismo, me refiero. ¿Racismo? Son mayores, son mayores. Uh, of course, this totally obliterates the narrative that only white people can be racist. How can these Mexicans be racist, quote unquote, if the definition of racism constitutes that the person being the bigot must be white? There's no such thing as reverse racism, I thought, right? So yes, people of Mexico, you're expected to just bend over and take it even though some of these migrants are proven to be criminals, even though some of these migrants are, quote, according to the Mexican ambassador to the U.S., very violent, and many of them are carrying weapons, guns, and Molotov cocktails, even though some of these migrants are complaining about the free food that the Mexican people are giving them out of the kindness of their hearts. And even though this migrant caravan is leaving piles of garbage and trash everywhere they go, even though the Mexican people never voted for these migrants to come in, and even though these migrants came in by breaking the law, quite literally 
breaking down the Mexico-Guatemala border and bum-rushing Mexican authorities and being violent toward Mexican police. So, I mean, what, what are they supposed to think? What are they supposed to do? They didn't ask for this. They have to give up all these resources to take care of these people because you better believe the United States at this point with Trump as president, they're not trying to have any of these migrants come in illegally or legally because seeking asylum, you have to qualify for that. You have to be a genuine refugee. An economic migrant does not qualify under the UN zone def definition of asylum seeker. Trying to find a better work situation in the United States, that doesn't qualify you as an asylum seeker. Uh, fleeing a crime ridden area doesn't qualify you as an asylum seeker. If it did, you'd have people fleeing Chicago, going to Sweden, seeking asylum, or going to Switzerland, seeking asylum from Chicago because they're, they're in poverty, they can't find a job, and there's a lot of crime in Chicago. It doesn't qualify. So, this is what you got going on, and there's now intel from DHS and border security that many of these migrants are planning to bum rush the U.S. border and to try to run through the traffic lanes and just make a run for it and blow by everybody and use the crowd mentality and the power of a large group of people to overrun the U.S. border. Now, of course, this is coming from DHS. I don't necessarily trust DHS. So, I don't know if this is true, but they claim they have, you know, informants in this migrant caravan and this is what's going on. So we'll see what happens. All I know is more and more of these different caravans are coming and they're all organizing at the U.S. border and there's violence, there's protests from the Mexican people, there's uh, chaos and confusion, there's disorganization because it's just, it's just too much for Mexico to handle. It's too much for the U.S. to handle. And this situation doesn't look good. It's going to get worse and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And how is this going to be worked out? What's going to happen? I do not know. But I'll keep you posted as this situation develops. It's going to be months in the making. And this is basically what I see as the migrant invasion part two. Because yeah, part one was in Europe, 2015 into 2016. And of course, it actually went on before that as well. And part two is here in the United States, and uh, or North America, I should say. And it's been going on for a while, but this is where it's really, really coming to a head now. So, uh, drop a comment below. I'll leave links to everything I talked about in the description box below. And if you believe what I do here as well at Press Reset Earth, please uh, feel free to contribute on Patreon, become a patron uh, to support what I do here on this channel. Um, I would say donate on PayPal, but I don't believe in PayPal anymore. I got to take that link out of my description box. I am boycotting using PayPal um, from now on because they have cut off Gab and BitChute and others uh, for the crime of, of wrong think. So um, yeah, no more PayPal, uh, but I do have uh, Bitcoin and Ether links in there if you want to contribute that way. So uh, again, let me know what you think. Drop a comment below, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, it's been Press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.